Welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to talk about the slightly surprising behavior of the last function. So in one of our other videos, we looked at um, con cells, which are simple objects uh, which contain a pair of values. And we learned that these lists are really made of chains of con cells. And if you want to check out the con cell video, you'll see more about that. Um, but there is a function that's quite often used and quite often trips up beginners, certainly tripped up me, is that if you say last on a, on, a, um, on a list, you might realistically expect it to return the last element in the list. But that's not what happens. You get this four little list with only four in it. So what's going on? What last actually does is return the last con cell in a list, which in this case, seen as these two are equal, this is this guy. So let's copy this down, the REPL, and evaluate it. We can see this is exactly the same. This is what's going on. It actually becomes more obvious um, whoops. if we change out this nil and we make it a malformed list where the last con cell doesn't end in nil. We see here, if we take the last of that, we get this cons pair, 4.5. This is a con cell just containing these two values, which is exactly what we've got here. So when you, when you call last and you see something you don't expect, remember it's the last console list that's being returned, not the last element or the last value in the list. If you want the last value, um, let's go get our example from up here. What you can do is you can return the car. And again, that function was covered in the console video. There are also obviously helper things in libraries to make that easier for you, or you can write your own. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.